All right, so ever since I, I got this uh, MFJ tuner, it said its, its thing was it can tune up anything. Do you remember reading that? I think I remember reading that. And I kept thinking, oh, it'll tune up anything. This was three years ago. No, two years ago. I was thinking, if it can tune up anything, I could tune up anything. So that's what I'm going to do today, try to do today. So we've got uh, the normal setup with some coax. And then uh, I've got some counterpoise and... Some salt water. Oh, that's for later. For making noodles. That's later. Yeah. But yeah, right now we're going to try to tune up this uh, baseball diamond backing. What do they call it? Backstop, maybe? Backstop. Anyways, let's see how it goes. So I've got the uh, antenna actually disconnected at the moment. So let's go on, uh, let's go on 20 meters. I hear some JT65 in there, mm -hmm. but the thing is we aren't even connected. So, okay, ready? That's yeah, a very good receiver. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking there for a second. Oh, it's not coming in that strong. Oh, that's a, that's pretty loud. Be right on the minute. Yeah. So we're we gonna try to um, send a signal through this. Well, you better check the SWR first. Oh, it's probably huge. <laughs> what is that reading? You never would have guessed that. About your power output. Oh yeah. I'm on. I'm. I'm outputting. It says 35 watts. Yeah. 1.5 SWR for a, a a baseball backdrop is pretty good, I would say. Yeah. So this is my first transmission on JT65. I'm on 20 meters, putting out uh, just over 30 watts. Looks like 30 to 40 watts. So we're on, we're on a second transmission. Yep. Victor Alpha 3, uh, I got that part, uh, Ontario, Canada, uh, come on back again, or? Uh, hey, this is uh, Victor Alpha 3, Oscar, Sierra, Oscar, Victor Alpha 3, Oscar, Sierra, Oscar. My name is Carson and I'm in Canada, over. Elder Carson, I've got you. Victor Alpha 3, Oscar, Sierra, Oscar. Uh, yeah, you and another station or two were butting heads a little bit, and I wasn't getting your call correctly, but I do have it now. Victor Alpha 3, Oscar, Sierra, Oscar, uh, and the name Carson. This is Kilo 4 Papa Hotel Zulu, and the name is Steve in Alabama. Come on back in there, or? Uh, hey, Steve. Yeah, I'm just out operating portable today. I'm trying to tune up a baseball diamond backing. You know, the metal fence behind a baseball diamond? I have my, that's what I'm using as an antenna today. Over. Roger, Roger. Well, I'm hearing you pretty good. Uh, probably a 3-3 here in Alabama with that uh, setup you're running there. So uh, it's definitely working with this propagation, over. Yeah, that's cool. I'm running about 40 watts, 40 watts into the ball diamond backing. And uh, glad to make a contact today. I really appreciate it. Victor Alpha 3, Oscar, Sierra Oscar, Carson from Canada. All right there, Carson. I uh, appreciate the call. And uh, you're going to ride with us a little bit in case you hear one you want to try later. Over. Yeah, so the uh, baseball diamond fencing worked really well. So we're now trying uh, this roof. So I think a tin roof. Tin, you think? I think it's probably tin. So yeah, I've got everything set up. I've got some counterpoise going down here. And uh, yeah, do you just want to... Uh, yeah, it's just to this right here. Okay, so this is the... Tuning. <laughs> that 
That was fast. <laughs> what? <laughs> Looks like you can tune that up pretty well. It's putting out. Uh, That's at five five. watts. Yeah. All right. So just like before, we're going to try uh, JT65 on uh, 20 meters with the tin roof. And I uh, guess I don't need to talk to anyone. I'll just send out a signal. Yeah, the, the QSOs on JT65 aren't so interesting because it's pretty much... Eh, yeah, but it's know. more like a utility. I mean, the computer can tell you pretty much where you're going. You don't need the guy to give you a signal. You mean like or, Whisper or...? No, I mean the PSK reporter. I mean, I suppose as long as you have access to internet, but... Yeah. Cuba. That is Mexico. XE1 is Mexico. Here, turn your radio off. It's this. So this is our first transmission with the tin roof. I'm putting uh, about 40 watts into the tin roof on 20. Yeah. You see, if you uh, if you were running off your internal, then that would give that much more oomph to. So we're just looking at PSK reporter. I don't know if you can see this, but no, it's too. Uh, too close. Anyways, we're getting out uh, across the states. I'll show you something. Yeah. All right. Now I'm getting someone coming back to me. The tin roof has got a response. Yeah, right uh, there is uh, the reply. And uh, I know you can't see this, but I'm getting out uh, all over the United States with the tin roof. Let me take a screenshot. So. Hold it. You think this is gonna work? <laughs> We're gonna find out. So, I think it'll receive something. I don't know how well it's gonna transmit. Yeah. So uh, I wasn't surprised that the uh, back of the baseball diamond tuned up and this kind of tuned up and got out of bed. I wasn't surprised. It's metal, right? Yeah. But uh, oh, did I slip that in? Anyways. Let's try this. It's a piece of rope that's saturated in salt water. Wet piece of rope. And that is actually a piece of rope. So, so you're saying it's not going to work? You're saying it's going to receive a bit, but not transmit. That's my prediction. Well, it depends on uh, how much salt you have in there. Maybe yeah. You better test your SWR. Oh, yeah. Because that's going to be the key. Can you tune it? Oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> Yeah. Seems like you can tune up a wet noodle. Yeah, but will it go will it get out is the question. Yeah, it will it resonate. We need to go and repeat the experiments that we did before. Except okay, well we've got our first result here oh, with yeah. the wet noodle. With my pants down? Yeah, oh is that sorry. Okay, so I don't know where that is, but uh, we're getting out. That's 25. I mean, you stuff like. No, there's one underneath. Two minutes. So where is that? Ohio. Illinois. Minus 20, mm -hmm. 678 miles on a wet noodle. Minus 20 is. Uh, it's getting down there. It's low, but uh, it's getting out. Probably too low to have a phone contact. No, it's too low to have a phone contact, but you could definitely have a JT65 exchange on minus 20. Yeah. Anyways, um, I guess that's it. Um, we should do this again with the analyzer. We should try for a phone. Okay, but... Uh, I'll, I'll tune around for our phone. Okay. Because you did the other one. But basically, the wet noodle got out, 
And, uh, yeah, just leave it for the last transmission. Okay, or not. Whatever. And uh, JT65 worked. The wet noodle worked. The uh, random uh, connections worked. And next, next time we do this, we'll actually make some real contacts.